Okay. And welcome to Legendary Tactics. Today it is Potato and Cax in Star Realms. And uh, we are playing off here in a beginning uh, Star Realms game. Nice. Yeah, this is the first time I think we'd really played head to head. Yeah, the, a game actually uh, NATO just introduced to me recently. So uh, yeah, it's um, and I'm glad you like it. It's a really neat, uh, neat game there. So um, this this game will just be purely from my perspective. So you can see the cards that I have, yeah. and uh, so Cax is going to go blob, go with a green. Yeah. Now, I usually say, like in my experience, I think it's it's. I'm going to battle you for the green now because I love that card, <laughs> but. Um, but I usually like um, picking, you know, two colors to focus on because if you keep buying cards from different, you know, colors, like just one of each, you're not going to get any synergies really going. Yeah, you want to. Yeah, you do, you definitely want to kind of funnel into one, one or two. Yeah. Um, yeah. Main factions. And now, I'm Nate... biased for yellow. That's one of my favorites. But oh, interesting. Okay. Now, Nate. That being said. Do you try not? I try everything in my power not to buy that uh, the two banger on the end there. Uh, uh, it depends. They're actually they come in handy, but they're not like they're kind of an early game card. So you see how he got, uh, you know, four bucks out of that, you know, just by having that there. And later on in the game, you can I find they're really handy to trash and do two extra damage. Like let's say you've got uh, an outpost there that is, you know. It's it's just, it just out of reach. A, yes, yes. And then you trash that uh, explorer and you know kill them off. It's they can be pretty valuable, okay. but I I usually pick them like you know if I, if there's a better card that better suits my my goals, I will certainly you know grab those that one first. But you know if there's not a great choice out there, or if it's like you know something that is a a color I'm not really building with. Then I'll yeah, I'll grab the explorers. They're they're very hand, they're very good for what they are. Okay. And they can be okay. extremely handy. Yeah. Well, I guess they're just kind of like the generic. They offer you um, attack uh, <laughs> if you trash, and they also give you the two bucks as opposed to the scout that's only going to give you a one. Yeah. So. And especially in the early game when you have a small deck, they come up fairly often. So they just give you a little bit more purchasing power, especially if you get two or three of them in the very early going. Suddenly yeah. you've got purchase power of six or seven yeah. or eight and you can start buying some pretty big cards now that being um, but said, later though, on you want to trap you wouldn't uh you wouldn't recommend though saying like if you had four bucks you wouldn't buy two of them then as opposed to a four banger uh well it depends if if like in in the spread that is there right now like i grabbed the i might grab the red one but i've been kind of focusing on it depends on the colors that i'm focusing on because if i'm I, I don't necessarily want to buy one that's totally unrelated to what I'm trying to Your build. build okay. Synergies of my deck. So in this game, I I feel like uh, you know I I maybe oh, I, should have bought, bought one there actually. <laughs> so there you have it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. See how you're building you're building up your red, and there you go. There's a, you know you've got one. Mm -hmm. So I think that you know it really depends on the synergies you're trying to build because every every deck has um, a certain flavor. A certain flavor and yeah. you want to try and maximize that if you can yeah well here's another tactical question for you if you say you had five bucks in your hand would i you... love that green card i just bought by the way <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, that would... six banger oh beautiful would you um would you leave money on the table to buy your your colors faction or would you try to maximize uh spending all your dollars well you can't save money from no, turn to turn. No, that's so. what I. That's why you either have to spend it or leave it on the table. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and so, you know. But if if I have two dollars, like if it was me buying, you know, right now with the money, like just with two bucks, I'd grab an explorer. Like they're they're fine because they don't clog up your deck because you can trash them at any time. So right. yes, correct. You know, yeah, if you they're... just need something to buy, it'll give you two. It'll give you two bucks, and then you can trash it for two attack, and it, you know, and then. Yeah. Um, get it out of your deck, but a lot of the like reds, the red color is there to kind of trash cards in your um, in your discard. As you see, I'm trashing a viper. Um, you know, there the recycling um, station for the yellow faction is uh, you can discard two of the cards. So a lot of those two factions are used for kind of cycling cards through 
on trying to get better cards and getting a more efficient kind of deck. Um, because you can, like, if you've played any sort of games like like Dominion or whatever, a lot of times it's about streamlining your deck so that it's yes, efficient. Make it lean and mean. Yep. Lean yep. And, mean. And, and a lot of times a net runner as well is like that, right? You, yes. you don't want to build a deck with 80 cards in it because even yeah. though you have all the cards you like, it doesn't mean you're going to get the cards you need when you, you know, right, when right. it comes. So you really want to minimize, even though it, it's kind, of, it's almost counterintuitive because you're like, oh, it is, yeah. there's so many good cards I would like to add to this build. Yes, and that's that's one of those things that in these kind of games, um, you know, yeah, I really want that yellow. <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> that big yellow. Are you, are you aren't you going more green and, and red? Um, well, I've, yeah, and this is why, um, and that's another, I feel like I didn't have a lot of synergies this game because it, ideally I want to be focusing more or less entirely on two colors. Yeah. And that's, that was, I was going to ask you if, um, if you say you got seven or $8 and there's a, there's a big base on the board, would you actually take an off color to get it? I, I generally wouldn't because again, you're looking for synergies. And if you look at the bottom of the cards, um, a lot of times they are, you know they give bonuses if you've played a similar uh, the same colored uh you know faction that turn oh no so I, I, I wanted to verify that with you nate because i thought it yeah. had to come so when it has that i know exactly what you're talking about on the there's a bottom a sec a second subtext sometimes yes and if it yeah. has uh that color it requires you to play that color do you have to play it after you play that card or is it any time during the turn I think it's any time during the turn, basically, you get that bonus. I've never said, like, I've played many games of this on the app, and it doesn't seem to discriminate and say, oh, you forgot to play this. Like, that's why it has a play all uh, button. Yes. I think it just gives you, like, you can play all the cards at once, and I think it gives you all the bonuses. I've, I've, I've never actually sat to there to absolutely confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And if okay. you... If you have another card down on the table that round, then you get the bonus... Uh, values whatever those happen to be oh boy speaking yes yeah, so you're yes yeah, so you've really chiseled 15. me down oh boy I'm and i've got to discard a card as well so, and this is why i like yellow why yellow is fun because you can really uh hurt the other guy by making him discard right at the wrong time right and see and th there you go you're buying you're buying blues and yeah. and explore there making you trash one of your cards luckily you had a lot of you had some crappy scouts there though that was beneficial yes. and you get trash yeah, two no, more I... now oh <laughs> that's good <laughs> um, yeah all right interesting and, and there's your red combo so it doesn't matter which of those you play first or second both buffs will happen is what you're saying that's what i that's the way i understand I it i guess yeah. we could find out right now pretty well yeah the yeah, patrol there, there you go there you go they, they both triggered so you're right okay yeah yeah the patrol mech's a good card i like the fact you can choose money or uh attack and i find early earlier early game i want to lean more on money and then event you know switch to attack but here i am i'm uh whittled down to oh, 15. yes a little low there and you're uh yeah because you've had that healing healing power yeah um, the blue give yeah, yeah I've, I've finished games where I've had 70-something health, you know, where oh, it's been yeah. like, yeah, there was no way. It takes a long time to chisel that down. Oh, <laughs> yes. That's assuming no other cards come up. And you've got some good attack. Green is great for attack, I find. Um, you know, just it's just almost, the it's just pure attack <laughs> and destroy yeah, bait. Yeah, yeah, there's that, um, is it, I think it's called the Overlord base. Yeah. Oh, that's a yes. yellow one, maybe. No, it's a dreadnought. Sorry, dreadnought. You have it in your hand right now. That's yes. A, that's an yes. awesome card. Oh, that does yes. like. Is yeah, that yellow has, damage right there? Yellow's about uh, some attack, but it's a lot about discarding and drawing cards. Yellow. So where I find it can be really powerful is you can have, you know, uh, play a couple cards. You draw a couple cards, then you play again. You get more synergies, and you know, you draw a couple more cards, and it and it's suddenly you're you know you're doing oh, like oh boy that 50 is too hell oh no, no. I, yeah this is, this is good <laughs> for me no. oh but, then but there's 26 oh man and maybe you see this is where you get those you know those repeats so i'm up to 26 of... let's see what, what else i can get here yeah that is not um, bad and you have a base yeah there, so that's good <laughs> uh yeah i've got an outpost but at this point i've made you discard one card 
but at this point, it's. Uh, and you're using your dread knot. Okay, I'll get a draw. Another yeah. Bit. Oh, another thirty-one damage. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Let's see how much I can possibly get. Thirty-one. Can you squeeze a yeah, few I more damage. I think that's all I can do. Oh. And, unless you're magically going to do less than four damage. It's pretty much done, but yeah, it's gonna be uh, yeah. I think a bit of a tall order. Yeah, I did have to discard a card though, so depending on yeah, yeah, it depends on the mix. Like if you happen to draw, you know, four scouts and a base, then yeah, there you oh, go. Oh, there's the <laughs> big starting. That tells me yeah. one thing: <laughs> you didn't get another turn. <laughs> no. Nope. Yeah. See, that's a perfect example of using an explorer, right? There you know, so gave, that actually gave you the win right yes. there. Was that explore? So you know? if, you, if you like the video, like, subscribe it, subscribe to our channel, and uh, look for more of Star Realms.